So how do you properly set up a profitable book funnel? In this video, I'm going to go over some of the products you can add in your book funnel to increase your overall order value for your book. Hi, my name is Nicole Johnson. I'm a brand strategist, author of over 30 titles, and I love helping entrepreneurs amplify their brand through books and YouTube. While there are a variety of things that you can add to a book funnel, I actually have personal favorites and I'm going to share those with you. Make sure you stick to the end where I'm going to help you get your book funnel done a whole lot faster after you've got the products that you need to put inside your book funnel. Let's go ahead and get into the best products that you can put in your book funnel to maximize your profits. Before I get deep into the content, how many people watching are considering publishing your book through a book funnel and not on Amazon? Let me know in the comments. So when looking at book funnels overall, the main goal is obviously to sell your book, but the reason that you're running a book through a book funnel is more likely because you want to make more profit. So say for instance, your book itself sells for $27 you want your average order value to be 50, 100, $150, possibly if you can. So in this video, I'm gonna go over a few different products of how you can actually bump up that average order value for your book funnel. I'm gonna share a little secret with you. In order for your book funnel to actually work and to be profitable, your book has to do two different things. The two things that your book actually has to do is it has to one, solve a problem, and number two, it needs to create a problem. I know that sounds odd, but let me break this down a little bit. So you're writing your book in order to get people to notice you, your services, your business, etc., right? But you know that those people have a specific problem that they are coming to you for and your book needs to solve that specific problem. Say for instance that you are a social media manager and your expertise is in Instagram. So maybe your book is solving the problem of someone actually getting started on Instagram. So in your book, you cover how to post on Instagram, how often to post on Instagram, and maybe covering how to actually create templates in Canva. So we all know that people are visual and you can't see that aspect in the book. But what your book has actually done is one, it has solved that problem of helping people get started on Instagram. But number two, it creates a problem simply because maybe these people who are getting started on Instagram don't have any graphic design skills or maybe they don't know how to use Canva or maybe they just don't have any time and they don't know what type of scheduler to use to post their post on Instagram. So therefore, your book has solved a problem and therefore caused a problem. So these are the keys to figuring out exactly what products to put in your book funnel. As that book has solved that problem of getting people started on Instagram, the problem that it has caused is that these people don't know anything about Canva, they don't know anything about making templates, they don't know anything about how to schedule those posts. And so that new problem can be solved by some of the products in your funnel, meaning that you can sell something like Canva templates that's going to make everything faster for them. Or maybe if you have a software that schedules social media posts, you can actually sell them that subscription service to help them post their social media posts a whole lot faster. Are you understanding where I'm going with this? Tell me if you've already written a book for business, does your book actually solve a problem and does it actually create a problem? Let me know in the comments. Now we know how to actually figure out what type of products to sell in your book funnel. I'm gonna go over what type of products I think are best to put in a book funnel. Okay, so one of the easiest things that you can put inside a book funnel, that's an easy sell, is an audiobook version of your written book. So you can add that as a bump offer. This is really simple. This is a really no brainer simply because a lot of people nowadays don't actually have time to read and maybe they want to actually listen to the book on their phone or in the car while they're driving. This is a very easy sell. So I suggest anyone who is building a book funnel for their book, they add in that audiobook option as a bump. The next thing I would suggest is maybe a checklist. 
people like having a checklist so they can do things faster, so they can make sure they've covered all the steps, just keeps them on track. This is another simple thing to add to a book funnel to increase that average order value. Next up would be mini trainings. So with my book, Write a Book, Build a Brand, I had like a seven day quick start. And these were seven mini video trainings that were less than 10 to 15 minutes long a piece, but it dramatically increased the perceived value of my book. This is another simple thing that you can add on to your book funnel. And these videos do add a lot more profit because people have this perceived value that you took enough time out to create videos, maybe little mini tutorials or whatever it is, explaining the concepts in your book, and they're willing to pay more money for that. Another option as a offer in your book funnel would be a workbook or maybe a journal. These are more detailed than a checklist and this might be for the person who wants to print things out and have something tangible that they can actually write on. So this can be a short little workbook covering your process in your book and people are writing out the steps and their answers to your steps and everything else in the book. And this is another item that's pretty simple to make and that's going to increase your average order value. Another thing is full courses. So when I say full courses, I mean courses that are worth a couple hundred dollars a piece at minimum. So with my book, Write a Book, Build a Brand, I did offer checklists, I did offer templates, and I did also offer a full course. So this full course helped people implement what was actually in the book. It included templates, it included guides, it included tutorial trainings. It was a full course and I priced it at $197. So you could most definitely throw in a full course within your book funnel. Lastly, I don't want to leave out those who are selling higher ticket items like coaching or consulting. You can most definitely have a call to action and add a piece in your funnel that asks people to book a call with you. So that was the last step in my write a book, build a brand funnel was a page asking people to go ahead and book a call with me if they're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching or group coaching. So that way you can actually get on the phone with people who you already know are warm because they bought your book in the first place, but now you're taking them up that ascension ladder and you're booking a call with them for your higher ticket services. Okay, so those are the products that I actually recommend for your book funnel. There are so many products that you can put in your book funnel and I may have left some things out, but obviously I went through the ones that I actually enjoy using the book funnels the most. But I did tell you at the beginning of the video, I had something for you for people who are looking to build this funnel quickly. So part of a book funnel is actually the sales page and putting all that together can be a lot of work. But I found a resource that I've used in some of my book funnels and actually other products within my company that makes making a sales page and a checkout page and all that stuff so much easier. So I use Thrivecart templates and they are templates that you can just enter in your Thrivecart software and then you can work from there. They're really short and simple and especially for a book funnel, it really does not need to be that long, especially if you are adding in a little short video element, telling people a little bit about your book and maybe throwing in a couple of reviews this will have you up and running with your sales page and check out within like 15 minutes or so. It does not take a lot of design expert or a lot of design skill when you're using these Thrivecart templates. So I'll drop my link down below if you're interested in checking out these templates. And thank you so much for watching this video and learning more about what you can add into your sales funnel. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. Please share this channel with somebody else. And lastly, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the next video.